Hey, what's up? This is Caleb Ward with Shutterstock.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these Star Trek Beyond inspired titles. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get to work on the text here. So I'm going to go to File, New, Project, and we will not save. So um, let's create a new composition, and I'm going to hit Command N, and we'll make this 24 frames per second, 10 seconds long, that's fine. But instead of the height being 1080, I'm going to make the height 800, and this is just going to make it a little more stretched and give it a little bit more of a cinematic aspect ratio. And I'm gonna to go to our title tool here. Just kind of click and we'll type in behold. And I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down. And the font that we're gonna be using is called Final Frontier Old. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have our caps lock selected. So that's about the right size. And I'm gonna use our proportional grid here to kind of help us find where the center is and we'll kind of move it to about the center there. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the proportional grid. So I'm gonna add in a gradient ramp and I'm gonna swap the colors and bring the uh, little handles here closer together. And the top color instead of white, I kind of want it to be a darkish gray, somewhere right about there. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text here. And I'm gonna scale down the text underneath. And I'm just gonna kinda of move it to where it's kinda of behind the uh, original text layer there. If I turn it on and off, you can see that it's kinda of behind and it's creating this simulated 3D look. And I'm gonna go in and change the color to kind of an orange to kinda of match the Star Trek titles. And just kind of select a kind of brighter orange here. So you can see if you zoom in a little bit, there's just kind of like an orange outline. And I'm gonna duplicate this layer one more time and we'll do the same thing. We'll kind of scale it down just a little bit, maybe to about 98%. And I'll go ahead and center it up here. Cool, somewhere about there. And for this bottom layer, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker than the middle layer, just so it kind of stands out just a little bit. And I'm gonna turn our transparency off. And one thing I wanna do is add in a bevel effect. We'll go ahead and do bevel alpha. And I'm gonna put this actually in the middle layer here. So this is just beveling this uh, middle edge of our text here. And I'll just kind of turn up the intensity a little bit. So there you go. So now we have this simulated 3D. And if you wanted to, you could use a third party plugin like Element 3D or even Cinema 4D to make this text effect. But for the most part, this will work for our uh, simple titles here. All right, so now it's time to get to work on the background. So I'm gonna create a new solid. I'm gonna hit Command Y and we'll make this solid just kind of a darker gray. And I'll just go ahead and rename this BG for background and hit OK. Let's move the background layer to the background and let's make another solid. So I'm gonna hit Command Y again and we'll make it blue this time. And we'll just kind of pick a deeper blue right about there and hit OK and OK. So go to your pen tool and let's go ahead and cut out a little bit of a, a vignette to the top here. And we're just creating this kind of simple cutout shape here. I'm going to go ahead and feather it out and we'll drop it behind the text. And let's go ahead and make one more new solid and we'll call this vignette. And instead of blue, I actually want it to be black and hit OK and OK. And in a similar fashion, we're going to kind of cut out the edges, but this time we're going to cut it a little more closer to the edge to where there's just a small little triangle cutting out here from the edge. And we'll go ahead and cut that out and feather out the edge. Perfect. And I'm going to drop it below our text. All right. So the next thing I want to do is kind of create a cloud background. And what this is going to do is just make it look a little more organic behind our text. And uh, so to do that, I'm going to hit 
Command Y to create a new solid, and we'll call this Cloud, and hit OK. So I'm going to add in a fractal noise effect. And let's turn down the contrast to about 30. Cool, and I'm going to turn down the scale just a little bit. Maybe it's right about there. What is that, about 82? And let's go ahead and mask out the clouds here. So I don't actually want it to show up on the edges. I just want it to be on the center area here. So I'm just going to kind of create a real rough mask. And I want to make sure that it's not perfectly uh, elliptical. I want it to be a little little rough and uh, this will just kind of make it seem a little bit more organic and so I hit the F key for mask feather and we're just gonna feather out the edges just a little bit maybe right about there so we're feathered out at about 200 and click away so let's go ahead and drag the clouds below our vignette and blue solid here and the last thing we want to do is add in the orange so I'm gonna hit command Y to create a new solid we'll call this orange and let's select just an orange color here maybe about there hit OK and OK and just like before we're gonna cut out the, the corners but this time it's gonna be the bottom corners that poke through there we go and we can hit F and feather it out just a little bit cool and go ahead and drag it below the blue and the vignette so the next thing we're going to do is go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and we're going to bring in a glow effect. So let's go ahead and adjust the threshold of this glow here. We basically want the background to be completely blown out, but we don't want it to be too much, but we do want it to look a little bit like the, uh, the Star Trek titles here. and. That's looking good. What I'm really looking for here is I want to make sure that's bleeding over our text here. So that's looking good. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and grab this orange outline and let's move it above our adjustment layer. So, so basically now it's just affecting the blue layers and not the orange layers. And, and I think this just helps preserve the colors a little bit better. So before we go any further, I'm going to set our transfer mode for our orange layer here to vivid light. And this is just going to make it where it is just interacting with the background in a little bit more of a unique and organic way. And the cool thing about After Effects is we can go in and change the color at any time. So uh, we can just kind of feather this out maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to hit Shift Command Y. And that's actually going to allow me to change the color of this orange layer here. And you can see, obviously, this is a little too red. We actually want it to be a little bit more of a brighter orange. So we can actually just go in and change it hit OK and OK and it'll completely change the color so now it's a little bit more like the Star Trek titles cool so the next thing I can see that we're gonna wanna do is add in a bit of a gradient on this behold text here so I'm gonna hit command Y and we can create a new orange layer here so I'm gonna just kinda bring it back down to a little bit deeper of an orange hit OK and OK and let's select our ellipse tool and create just a simple ellipse here and feather out the edges and set the transfer mode to screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this under our adjustment layer here. So now you can see that there's this kind of orange glow popping up on the bottom of our text. And that's exactly what we want. So the next thing we wanna do is add in our snow elements just to add in a few more particles along the edges. So if you go to your project panel here, uh, I have the free stock footage from Shutterstock that I just have in my project. So I'm just going to drag it down into the composition here and I'm going to set the transfer mode to add. Cool. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and maybe scale this up a little bit and drag it over to the side to where it's not perfectly centered. And I'm going to drop it below the text. Cool. Right about there. And I'm going to duplicate this one time by hitting command D and we can go ahead and scale down the footage and then I'm just going to rotate it maybe about I don't know 165 degrees or so and I'm going to move it above our text where it's just kind of popping up above the text here and I'm going to use our pen tool to just kind of create just a little bit of an ellipse and we can just adjust this ellipse to where it's not popping up above the entire text maybe just the bottom corners here and feather it out just a little bit 
cool. So now we have these particles kind of giving the scene just a little bit more of an organic look. So the next thing we want to do is transition from white to this title screen over the course of two seconds. And to do that, I'm going to hit Command Y and we're going to create a new solid and we're going to make it white and we can just call this transition and hit OK. And I'm going to set the transfer mode to add. And you can see that when we use the add transfer mode, it's still completely white. And I'm going to go to our opacity here, set a keyframe at zero seconds, move forward to two seconds, and turn it down to zero. Uh, now, if we scrub through here, you'll see that it's bright, 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 and then it's like all of a sudden onto the title screen with only a few frames. So I don't want that. I want it to rather just kind of smooth out and slowly reveal the text. So to do that, I'm going to go to the graph editor and I'm going to adjust this down and just create this kind of hill. So now it just fades on and it smooths out as the text is revealed. Cool. And the last thing we want to do for our main title here is create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to bring over a levels effect. And I'm just going to kind of crush the bottom here. And this is just going to darken up the, uh, the overall composition. And we kind of split the difference here. And you can see this is just bringing out the blacks here and bringing out kind of some of the darker parts of the text. So this is looking good. And the last thing we want to do is add in that transition where Shutterstock pops up at the top. So to do that, I'm going to go down to our top uh, text here and duplicate it. And I'm going to scale it down and we can move it above the, the main text. And I'm going to type in Shutterstock. And I want this text to pop up at about three and a half seconds. So I'm going to move forward to three seconds and 12 frames. And I'm going to set a keyframe for our opacity at 100%. Move backwards maybe about to three seconds and turn opacity completely down. So now we can see our text slowly fades on and it looks like it kind of has this glow added to it. Cool. So the last thing we want to do is add in a bright little flare here. So um, in order to do that, I'm going to hit Command Y and I'm just going to create just kind of a light blue solid here. And I'm going to just kind of cut out an elliptical shape here about there and I'm going to feather it out and you can see already that there's these just kind of blue areas popping up and this is exactly what we want so uh, I'm just going to feather out the edges here and we'll set a keyframe for right at about three seconds I'm going to hit T and set an opacity keyframe move forward about three frames turn it all the way down to zero and just flashes on and then we'll have it fade out over the course of about 12 frames. All right, cool. So one thing I can see that we're going to want to change is we probably want to drag out the transition to where it kind of flashes on and slowly fades to the shutter stock text and perhaps we'll kind of offset it right about here to where it flashes on and then the text appears underneath. Cool. All right, cool. So the last thing we want to do is just scale up these text layers to where they're just kind of slowly scaling the whole time. And to do that, I'm actually going to create a new null object. So layer new null object. And we'll link all three of our behold text layers to that null. And I'm going to set a keyframe at zero seconds and move forward all the way to 10. And we can go ahead and scale it up and let's play it back. All right, so this is looking great. If you want to learn more about how to create this effect, go check out the blog post over at shutterstock.com slash blog. And while you're there, you can download the free project files for After Effects and download the free snow asset so you can do this effect at home. Again, this has been Caleb Ward. We'll see you next time.